Hello guys, if you follow my Instagram, you know I've been doing powerlifting lately, so there's been a lot of squats and high bar squats, so low bar and high bar. So today, I'm gonna explain to you what the differences are between low bar and high bar squat, and then how to squat in general. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, just so you know, I am not at all claiming to be like a doctor or anything who's like 100% active in this stuff. I'm just giving you my advice from what I've learned over the years in my lifting experience, which is like five, over five years now, and all my research I've done to be where I'm at to do things properly, and from everybody who's coached me along the way. So if you don't wanna take my advice because I'm not a doctor, that's fine, I respect that, but this is my advice based on all my experience and my personal research. So first let's get into the main difference and how to do high bar and low bar squats. So as you can see here, it's the bar positioning. High bar, it's positioned up on your traps, like right at the top, basically on your shoulders. High bar squat, that's why it's called high bar, because it's up higher. And then if we get into low bar, you can see it's a lower, it's a, you contract your shoulder blades and then you bring it down right about there. It just rests on that muscle so it doesn't hurt as much and it takes a little bit to get mobile and comfortable, but that's where you put the bar for a low bar squat. Um, it might be slightly different for you, but that's fine. Let's talk about which muscles are worked in high bar versus low bar squat. So high bar is more quads, it's quad focused, and then your uh, core and back, it's more of that, and then low bar is more uh, glutes, hamstrings, and still your posterior chain and core. But high bar, or high bar is much more quads than glutes. So something I just want to add into that. So high bar is more front loaded, more quads and everything because of the bar leverage. Since it's up top, it's making you fall forward more. Whereas low bar, it's more on the back, making you come backward more. So that's why it's like front loaded, more quads compared to low bar. So you might be wondering which one out of those two squat forms is better, and neither, they're both good. It just depends on your certain goals. So if you wanna grow your quads more, uh, then I'd say go high bar if you wanna focus on your quads and like front load, post like your core and back. But then if you wanna do more your butt or glutes and everything, and you wanna do more weight, just get a huge one rep max, you wanna go low bar. And personally, I think, I think low bar just feels better and more comfortable for me because high bar, it just hurts having the bar sit right on my traps. So uh, the answer is either one, I think both. Okay, now we're gonna get into some cons of both high bar and low bar squats. So first, the cons of high bar are that it's more difficult, you can't do as much weight. It hurts your traps when it's just resting on the bar. Uh, you can do less weight and you need better ankle mobility to perform high bar squats. And the cons of low bar are that it's harder to master, it's more, takes more time to get good at it. Uh, it requires difficult mobility with your shoulders. Some people can't get your hands back like I do, but it just requires some time and it's re it requires better teaching. So it requires uh, just more time to learn, it's harder to learn. So like I said, my personal choice is low bar. I prefer low bar. It just feels better and I can do more weight and that's kind of what my goal is right now. But I recommend both. If you're going to pick one or the other, like I said, it depends on your goals. If your goal is to just do as much weight as possible, you're going to want to go low bar. If you want to focus on your quads, like focus like bodybuilding, you're going to want to do both of them. Or just high bar if you want to hit your quads. So it, ju it just depends and my personal choice is low bar. Okay, I had to redo this clip because it was too loud in the gym, but <clears throat> before we get into this, I just want to say squatting is a great exercise. It's a great compound exercise because it works multiple muscles. It improves your strength and your flexibility. And I think it's just it's an exercise everybody should do, but do properly. So uh, let's learn how to squat. First and foremost, you're going to want to choose your bar position and get the bar on your back. Next, you're going to want to step back and get your feet a little over shoulder width apart, not too wide, just about there. And then you're going to point your toes slightly outward, just slightly outward. And then next, before you squat, you're going to inhale, contract your back and core, then squat down to 90 degrees or lower, just a little lower, and then explode back up. So once again, you contract, you inhale, contract, hold your breath, squat down to 90 degrees or a little lower, and then pop back up. Okay, now we're going to get into some tips and uh, common mistakes people make when squatting. So first is to keep your feet flat on the ground. 
a lot of people when they squat they tend to like fall forward and their heels come off or they come backwards and their toes come off if you come backwards you're going to fall backwards you go too far forward you're going to fall forward so keep them flat on the ground that's what you want to do when you squat now if you have trouble squatting you can think about it as sitting back and down into a chair so to learn this you can put a box or a bench below you and sit back and down onto it but do not make this a habit try to get into normal squatting as soon as possible only do this to learn form Next, you want to make sure your back is straight and tight when you're squatting. You want to avoid any rounding forward or backward too much. You want to keep it relatively straight and tight whenever you're squatting at all so it's more safe and secure. The next tip is to look straight forward when you're squatting. When you're squatting. You don't want to look straight down because then it just messes up the bar path and you lead to injury and you don't want to look straight up either. You just want to look straight into the mirror or straight ahead of you. I like to kind of look at my knees but I'm normally looking straight ahead of me when I squat. Another important tip is to not let your knees uh, sway inward or go inward when you're squatting. You wanna make sure your knees are staying in line with your toes kinda, so it helps if you focus on like pushing your knees out kinda, or focus on not letting them come in, because if you let them come in, that increases the risk of injury. Like I said, I want your knees to be in line with your toes and laterally this is. So your knees should go in like the same direction as your toes are pointed so they're in line in that direction laterally. I want to address that it's okay if your knees go past your toes when you squat. Mine do and it's completely fine and natural for them to do this. As long as you don't have some existing injury or condition that you're not supposed to do this, it's okay. Another tip I have is that you want the bar to go straight up and down, as much in a straight up and down path as possible so you're the most efficient. The last tip I have is to make sure you go low enough with your squat. You want to squat to 90 degrees or a little lower. Don't cheat yourself, don't do half reps, get as low as 90 degrees or a little lower. I promise you, you'll get better benefits from it. It just, don't cheat yourself. It's not that hard to go lower and be doing proper form. Uh, it'll help you in the long run uh, more than if you don't do it. Now something I want to mention and address is that if you've noticed in the past little clips of me in this video squatting, at the bottom of my squat my butt kind of does a little dip and my back seems to go in. Uh, I just noticed this recently. I have no problems with it. It doesn't hurt or anything. Uh, so I don't think it's an issue, but ideally I don't think you want that, but I don't know how to, I can't stop it. I tried, I couldn't figure out how to stop it, and it has caused me no pain, no injury, so I think it's fine. Uh, if you have the same thing, I just play it by ear. If it hurts, then you better try something else, but for me, it feels fine. I think it's okay. I think it's just natural for when I get that low, my butt starts to like come back into my uh, towards my legs, so I think it's fine, but be careful So like I said squatting is a great exercise But it, it requires good form and practice to use it the best way possible So it just takes time you'll get better as you go But just work on your form and uh, just practice it before you go up and wait because that's what most important and it, It'll protect you in the long run and everything else. All right, so that's gonna do it today guys and as you can tell from the video, I'm not perfect. There's always room for improvement in my squat form and basically everything. There's always room for improvement. Um, and it's great to video yourself. If you want to see how you need to improve, just video yourself. And then you can really see where you're messing up. Like my little hip dip. If that's bad, I don't know. Um, but that's going to do it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it helped. I hope you learned some stuff and you can use these tips and everything in your own squatting if you have any questions as always just drop comment or dm me on instagram which is linked down below i will reply as soon as possible but i hope this helped um and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye